makes triangle GUI extra complicated is the flow of execution is not as straightforward as what we're used to. Um, creating, calling the main method and what happens there is, is fairly normal. But what makes triangle GUI harder is that there's other threads of execution um, which we don't have direct control over uh, necessarily. So what I mean by that is in a graphical user interface, there is a, a thread and think of a thread as like an, an, an independent execution flow within the same program um, that can run at the same time as other execution flows. And so in a graphical user interface, there is a thread running that handles events. Okay, and this is initiated by the Java runtime environment. And basically the Java runtime event handler sits there like in a literally like in a while loop and it says, did the user do anything interesting? And then like a fraction of a second later, it says, did the user do anything interesting now? And then like a two-year-old, two, a fraction of a second later is like, how about now? Did the user do anything interesting now? Um, and when the user does do something interesting, like click their mouse, then it will like call our listener, okay? In this whole thread, which is represented by this little box here, all we can really do, all we should do is very quickly get the information we need, store it somewhere to be dealt with later and return. Because if we do too much stuff inside of like the mouse listener, our app gets really laggy. I'm sure you've used apps that are like slow to respond and laggy and frustrating. One reason that happens is because they do too much stuff in their event handler. Um, because if we spend too much time here, the Java runtime can't handle other events, okay? And we don't want that. One thing we may, may remember from the cityscape component is the only place we can do drawing is inside the paint component method. We may also remember that we can never invoke the paint component method directly. There is yet another thread that is responsible for drawing and updating our, our graphics, right? Our graphical user interface. And so we can't call paint component. The Java runtime calls paint component on triangle component for us. We can ask it to do so when it gets a chance by calling the repaint method, just like the code that we were given with the cityscape um, lab, but we can't directly call paint component. So what's challenging here is we have three separate threads going on. We've got the normal thread that runs our main method. We have an event handling thread, and then we have this drawing thread. Okay. So let's walk through from the top, which objects call which methods on which other objects. And I think this is gonna really help now that you have some context to know where, what code you need to write and where you write it. So I'll switch back and forth between this diagram and the code to try to connect all of this for you. So to start off, the Java runtime environment invokes the main method on triangle frame in terms of the static main method. This is what happens when we like right click on the class in BlueJ and choose the main method, okay? Inside the main method of triangle frame, all this code, we're not changing any code in triangle frame. This is all given to us. All we do is we create a new triangle frame object, which we'll call the triangle frame constructor. And in this diagram, that's represented by this line here. The main method in triangle frame makes a new triangle frame object. Let's look at what happens in that code. Actually, let's take a look at the diagram first. That triangle frame object in its constructor makes a new triangle component. Okay. Here's the corresponding line of code. This dot component equals new triangle component. Cool. When we make a new triangle component, the triangle component constructor is what you need to write. Okay, so this isn't in the starter code. In the triangle, but you've already written this, probably just got started with this yesterday. Inside the triangle component constructor, you need to make a new, I called my class, my inner class, mouse click listener. You can call it whatever you want, as long as it implements the mouse listener interface. Okay. The way you're gonna make your mouse click listener class or, or whatever you choose to call it is very similar to what we do in button viewer, okay? In button viewer, we made an inner class called click listener, which implements action listener. 
in triangle component, you're going to make an inner class called, I don't know, maybe mouse click listener, which implements mouse listener. Okay. Um, same, same idea. Um, the action listener interface says we have to implement action performed. If I look up the documentation for the mouse listener interface, there are five methods, mouse clicked, mouse entered, mouse exited, mouse pressed, mouse released. You have to implement all five. I know you only care about mouse clicked, but you gotta implement the other four as well. Um, just have a curly bracket to start it and a curly bracket to end it. Um, leave an empty body and that's fine. I know it's tedious, but that's the promise we made when we wanna implement the interface. Um, oops. So inside of the constructor that you're writing for triangle component, you make a new mouse click listener. After you do that, you also have to add it to the component. So this arrow here starts at the triangle component, goes to the triangle component, meaning we're calling the method on ourselves. We're calling this dot add mouse listener, which is similar to what we did in the live coding example, where after we created the click listener, we then called add action listener to add it. We're gonna be calling add mouse listener instead. Okay. Once we do that, um, we're done. The triangle component constructor finishes. And then we can see that we're back in the constructor for triangle frame. And it says we call set visible. That corresponds to this line of code here. Once we call set visible, we kick off that thread to handle all the events for us. Okay, our constructor is, is done, okay? We're not really worried about this thread of execution anymore. We can now focus on event handling. At some point, you click the mouse inside of the component. The Java runtime creates a new mouse event. The jo that means you don't ever create a new mouse event. It's created by the Java runtime. The Java runtime invokes the mouse clicked method on your listener. Okay. Inside that implementation of mouse clicked, you need to do a couple of things. This assumes we're on step four in terms of the five increments we're, we're going through. You need to get the X and the Y coordinate for the click from the event object that's passed as a parameter. And then you need to somehow get that information back to the triangle component. I chose to write a method in triangle component called add point, which takes two parameters, an X and a Y. And inside the add point method, it stores the X and the Y values inside of an instance variables. So I can refer to it later. Okay? The reason why we need to get these X and Y values stored in instance variables of triangle component is because we need to use them later inside a paint component. So the whole point of implementing mouse clicked is to get this X and Y into triangle component. And I do that with add point. You're probably doing other stuff too, because you eventually you're gonna to need to keep track of three points. And you're gonna to need to keep track of how many clicks have there been, you know, zero, one, two, or three. Um, so that's all part of it. Just because we've stored this point, doesn't mean the Java runtime knows it needs to call our paint component method. We need to explicitly call repaint on the triangle component to make sure that the Java runtime knows to call paint component later. So all we do in mouse clicked is get those X and Y points from our mouse click listener stored in instance variables in triangle component and call repaint. At other points in time, when the Java runtime determines it's useful or when we've asked it to because of repaint, the Java runtime is gonna call the paint component method on our triangle component. And that is where we are going to do all of our drawing. Okay. So here's the paint component method. It's not doing anything yet, but this is where you can create a new ellipse2d.double that you can use to draw a circle. You can create a new line2d.double to draw a line um, or three lines, whatever you need. You can do g2.draw and g2.fill like you're accustomed to from the Cityscape lab but all the drawing, all the painting happens right here in paint component. So this diagram is embedded in the assignment. 
So keeping this handy, I think is really gonna help you know which object calls which method on which other object and keeping these three separate threads straight um, in your head.